Okay, getting back to the rat rod, one of the things that I was looking at last night was the uh, vacuum advance. And I took the vacuum advance off this other Cadillac distributor that I had, and I soaked it in oil during the night. And, uh, I was noticing that it's starting to loosen up, and I'm wondering if I can't get it to work. It's a little bit hard to find one of these that's good uh, to buy, but I noticed that it plunges and I can hear it. You know that noise a rubber vacuum advance thing makes, a diaphragm? I can hear that noise when I mash it down, when I plunge that in there. And it's free now, before it was stuck. So, let me uh, attach a vacuum line to that and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'll work this so that you can see it. And if you watch the piston right here, as the gauge goes up, you should see the piston go down. So let's just move, work it and see. And you see the piston got closer to the tip of my finger. When I stop, it goes back up. So it's actually working now. Now my next step would be to attach this vacuum wire to my carburetor. Put the distributor back cap back on here, crank it, and make sure I got enough vacuum from the carburetor to work this. And then once I do, I'll put this on the on the distributor, and I'll take that old one off of there. And, uh, and then we'll take it for a ride and see how that works. Okay, I adapted the uh, vacuum lines down. I've got a good size vacuum line that comes out of here and I adapted it down to this small line which runs around to the distributor. So I'm going to crank it and uh, if everything is as I think it will be, I should be able to reset the timing and have it advance when you race it and then I should, uh, I should change the whole way the motor runs. Let's just see what happens. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Now that I've got vacuum advance working, 